Welcome back to the Electromagnetic Paintbrush. I've been on hiatus, but I'm back and I'm bringing you more lighting setups. Transition. For the next three episodes, I'd like to do three different lighting setups, but I want to use the same gear for each lighting setup. Transition. But obviously we have a camera still using the Canon T3i. This time I'll be using it with a Sigma 30 millimeter fixed focal length lens, tripod, 200 watt LED Fresnel, five in one reflector. And that is the gear that I'll be using to do a few different lighting setups. Transition. As I've said before, I like to start by setting up my frame. So I'm just gonna show you that real quick. Let me flip the camera around. Choo, 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 choo magic okay so here's the camera and as you can see it's pointed over into this little dining space where we have the lovely brianna she will be modeling for us today after all the tweaking this is basically the setup that we came up with for the silhouette i think it turned out pretty well the effect i was going for was kind of viewing the picture on the wall as a window or a source of light itself which is why i have that splotch of light on the background for a silhouette photo, you want a strong light source coming from behind your subject. That is why I have this 100 watt LED Fresnel directly behind the chair that Brianna was sitting in. Over here, we have a large five in one reflector. The reason why I have this out is it is actually flagging off the spill from this light over here. And this light over here is another 100 watt LED Fresnel. I have it at about half power though. And that light I have pointed directly at the picture on the wall. That's actually a picture of da 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 Pax the bird. Where you can't you can't see him through the bars. Where is he? There he is. Anyways, two lights, one five and one reflector. Uh, very simple, and yet I feel like the picture turned out awesome. Join me in the next episode as we go over another lighting setup with the same framing. Wow. And that's the end of this episode.